We almost all love the stories where the hero defies all odds to succeed in what looks like something just completely impossible. We can't seem to get enough of them. That's because they're true on a level we desperately need to understand. Even though millions of people watch with blind eyes and say, oh, that's just Hollywood, they ignore the thousand years of truth that led to its creation. These stories do contain the secrets to success, but we miss them because the instructions aren't in any of the stories. Well, they can't be. It would be like the magician telling you his trick as he's doing it. It would ruin the effect. But we still need to know how to make this story work for us right now, because it's the only way we'll ever succeed. And it all starts in a very special time in our lives called the second act. Curtain up. I work with a lot of people who had a brilliant first act in business, and when the curtain came down, they became restless. Well, most plays don't have just one act, so that's pretty natural. So they wrote a second act. But when the curtain went up, they often found that the rules they followed for their script in the first act no longer produced the same result. And the thing is, this happens to virtually everyone. The question is, why? Welcome to The Visible Authority where people learn to match their most valuable solutions to those most eager to receive them. But they can't do that and play by the script rules of the first act. So why not? After all, they perform like champions at their jobs, got steady salary increases right up until they were let go or quit or retired early, but it ended, as all first acts must end. But here's the funny thing about first acts. They are, by design, structured to keep up the tension and mystery so we'll stick around for the second act. But the rules of the second act are different than the first. The stakes are higher. The main character has more adversity to overcome. And it often looks as if she won't make it. And then something really terrible happens and, and she somehow pulls up something from deep inside and, and finally gains her greatest desire. But it has come at a great cost. She, she had to give up something she loved to become the person she was destined to be. See, that's not a first act rule. In the first act, she tries to succeed through hard work and towing the company line. But if she followed those rules in the second act, she would end up right back where she started, only worse, <laughs> maybe working for someone else inside her own company. I, I know this is pretty dramatic, but we love drama. It's a way for us to, to see ourselves from a higher level. The rules for drama come from real life and what we believe about ourselves. We invest in certain characters because they can inspire us to do great things. Like today's rocket scientist who was watching Star Trek as a kid. When the player movie is great and we use it as a pattern for living, we become better human beings. When the play is bad and we let that seep into our bones, we fail on so many levels. But we also fail when we fail to adopt the second act rules. And what are they? For the hero who succeeds, it's simple. You know, I said simple, not easy. But if you really want this, here are the three rules of the second act. First, be intentional, not single-minded. The greatest characters learn from their mistakes. They desperately want something, but they don't shred their potential allies along the way. In fact, they're willing to try something completely different. If what they're doing isn't working, it's the goal that's important, not necessarily the vehicle. Second, Endure the pain without the blame. Second acts are inherently painful. Entertaining for an audience, but hell on the hero. What makes them so painful is that the hero is growing in ways he never imagined possible, though he secretly hoped he would. The second act is also where the secrets come out. Yet another source of pain, but a liberating one. It's like working out with a new trainer and discovering you have muscles you never knew you had because for a day or two later, it's hard to sit. The hero must grow to reach his goals, goals that could only ever be reached by someone with a certain character. Once he becomes that character, he knows exactly what to do. But if instead of enduring the pain, she blames others or herself, she misses the lesson and her chance to grow. And that pain is used as an excuse to avoid any similar situation that would have led to her growth and the courage to do the exact things that would lead to her success on her own terms. This one is hard, 
Just try it for five minutes at a time and work your way up. And third, treasure your allies. In all great second acts, the hero is surrounded by a ragtag league of unlikely helpers, a little robot that looks like a trash can but seems to know other things that others don't, or a man made of straw who, as it turns out, is pretty good at strategy, or a strangely garbed teenager, maybe I'm being redundant, but who can also float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. The great writers understood that the character who begins the quest is never the character who succeeds. Character determines plot. The same is true for business. So you see, the second act isn't about trying to paste in the rules of the first act onto a character who hasn't grown into the person he was meant to be. It's about looking at who you are, the part of you who can help others because of what you've gone through in the first act, all while going through the rigors of the second act. It can be disorienting for sure. If that's how it feels right now, don't worry, you're growing. But don't miss the lesson of that pain. It's pointing the way to your castle in the sky. And in a great second act, when you get there, you bring everyone with you. Do you feel the butterflies yet? Get them flying in formation, because the curtain is about to go up on your second act. Break a leg.